Hello, hello. Hello, everyone. Hey, guys. I'll wait for a few minutes or a few seconds to see if anybody jumps in. I am going live today to talk about some fragrances and some other items, some luxury, a luxury haul, basically. So if this is your first time here, I am Pam. I am streaming live from Facebook. I am streaming live from YouTube. And I am streaming live on Instagram as well. So you'll see my head moving back and forth. So thank you guys for joining. Um, I don't see anybody on YouTube yet. So we'll wait to see if anybody pops in there. But I do see you guys on Instagram. Hey, how y'all doing? <laughs> If this is your first time popping in on any of my lives or any of on my platform, on my page, whatever, my name is Pam. And what I do is I talk about fragrance and luxury items. And I try to find items that are at a price point that is, I would say, approachable uh, for most people. Um, not everyone can go out there and buy a three, four hundred dollar bottle of fragrance or a thirteen hundred dollar pair of shoes, you know, that type of stuff. So I try to you know, the way I shop, I try to bring that to the screen for you guys. So let's see. We do have, Sh hey, Cheryl. Hi. And on Instagram, I see Enamored Beauty is here. Hi. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Hi, Elemental. Thanks for joining. Let's see. I've got my, uh, my phone all the way out here, guys. So that's why I'll be reaching forward a little bit to see who jumped in. Hello, Casey. Thanks for joining. I cannot pronounce it's N I O B M G. That's what I said, I think. <laughs> so, hello, Rob. Hi, Stacy. Thanks, guys, for joining. So, I received, let's see, Cheryl says, love my hair. Thank you. Thank you very much. I am trying to wear my hair out much more uh, frequently. I have lost a significant amount of hair, or what I thought was a significant significant amount of hair, um, you know, during my grooving process and stuff, my hair just kept falling out. Plus I got sick, yada, yada. Everybody's got a story, right? But my story is, <laughs> my story is that my hair was falling out. So, and I like to wear wigs. I like to switch it up. So instead of coloring my hair, I wear, you'll see me in different types of hairstyles. Okay. So I like to switch it up. Um, I am, let's see who else joined guys. Thanks so much for joining. I am trying not to keep you guys on for too long today. I don't have too much to show you, but I did have a luxury haul. Now, I gave a hint of this haul a couple of months ago that I was looking at this item. And to be quite honest with you, I was like going back and forth. And then I decided to take the plunge because you only live for life once, right? So let's see here. Hey guys, what are you guys wearing today? What is your scent of the day today? I want to know what y'all... What y'all wearing? Because it's uh, Easter Sunday. Happy Easter. Um, if you celebrate Easter, happy Easter to you guys. It was a rough morning for me, a rough start, but I started putting some makeup on and y'all, I'm here. <laughs> I am here. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Sherilyn. Thanks for joining. So what are you guys wearing today? What's your fragrance of the day? I would love to hear what you guys are wearing. Hi, Sonia. Hey! Oh my gosh! Sonia and I deployed together, so we go way back. <laughs> yeah, so I want to hear, yes, happy Easter to you guys as well. I want to know, well, I want to know what y'all ate, but I'm trying to be better at eating healthier, so I'm just going to go, what are y'all wearing fragrance-wise today? Let's see here. I don't see. Oh, thank you, Rob. Thanks about my lipstick and my top. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Mighty. Hello. My lipstick, I have, I counted one drawer and I got tired, guys. Like literally, I, I counted one drawer and I got tired. So I am having to wear my makeup because it's going to go bad, right? I'm a Pat McGrath. I was a Mac freak. Then I became a Pat McGrath freak in terms of lipstick. So I had to like, you know, chill on purchasing. So this color I'm wearing on my lip today is called Breathing Fire. And it's a Mac lipstick, a Mac lippy. This is how you used to do like when Instagram, not Instagram, but um, YouTube first started. You'd see them do the lips and then. Oh, without the glasses. Hold on. <laughs> and I 
I paired it with um <laughs> I paired it with Mac Heroine lip liner. So that's what's on my lip today. On my eyes, I am wearing Natasha Denona's gold palette, but and also um Pat McGrath's uh Oh my God, it's the one, the really fantastic one. I want to say it was released number four, number five, the big palette. So I was filming today. I decided to film a makeup look today and I haven't edited it yet. It's going to be, I don't know how I'm going to edit it because I filmed it this direction, nine by 16. So I'm probably, it's longer than one minute. I don't know what I'm going to do. All I know is I tried filming it today because I hadn't filmed a makeup video per se in a long time. So the eye look, I'm loving it. I'm loving the eye look because it goes with my top and my birthstone, my little, you know, it's go my, it go my bling bling. <laughs> you know, I even pulled out, y'all, I'm telling y'all, life is too short. Like people are dropping like flies. And so in my mindset right now, I am like pulling out everything. I pulled out my Ferrari watch, which I haven't worn in a while, pulled out my diamonds. I'm like, I ain't going nowhere, but I'm here for you guys. So I'm wherever you are located. I am traveling. I am with you right about now. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see here. Sampling some scent from Omar Luxury. That house has some strong scents. I haven't really tried anything from Omar Luxury. Um, Asibat and, oh, wow, Ruth, you went heavy today. Yes, Mighty, my hair has grown a little bit. Kiss the sun today. That sounds good. Miss Dior, absolutely blooming. Wow. A lot of really cool fragrances. I don't have any fragrance on today because I wanted to keep my skin clear for all the samples we're going to talk about. So let's get into my luxury haul today, okay? First up, we're going to do a non-fragrance item. And that is, I showed a little bit about, um, this is where it came from, from Saks Fifth Avenue. Okay, and I'm going to show, to be quite honest with you, I showed this a lot. Well, not a lot. I did one or two reels with this item, and I kept going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and I decided to go ahead and take the plunge, and it is from Prada. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the brand or if you like the brand or not, but obviously, um, I can't wear, not that I cannot, but I, my back and everything else, I haven't been able to wear high heels the way I used to. So let's get into this box and I'll show you guys what I got. And it's these bad boys. <laughs> man, on camera, they look huge. <laughs> Must be this big as hell, man. <laughs> Let me make sure it's the right size. I think it's the right size. I didn't double check. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so these are the Prada. I call them the Silver Lothers, to be quite honest with you. I know they have a fancy name for it, and I'll put it down in the description when, you know, I just, <laughs> when I upload, I'll make sure I put down the name of the shoes. If you're interested, you can go take a look at it. But I love these shoes. So I, yeah, I love them. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, it's shiny, shiny. I love them. And they're comfortable. I could wear them all throughout the year. I don't have to wait for Christmas to wear them. You know, normally people pull out like metallics to wear during the Christmas. And I've been wearing metallics for a year. Now, metallics has this thing with fashion and whatnot, but I've been wearing metallics forever, okay? Because I love metallics. I think I have out of all of my sandals, I probably have at least 70% of my sandals have some sort of metallic or shiny stuff in it, okay? I'm just like that girl. I love that kind of stuff. And I love thicker heels. I was going to get the one with the thicker platform here and here, but I figured that this would be much more, stylistically speaking, that these products, the design of them, even though they're metallics, would last me a lot longer in terms of fashion seasons. Um, I did not buy the Bottega Benitas. I did not buy the, um, there's a lot of shoes I won't buy, even though they're comfortable and they are fashionable and everybody talks about them. But my lifestyle, I have kids, um, you know, I'm, my, I'm in uniform, you know, a lot. And in my opinion, what's the point in buying something if I can't wear it? And I was shopping like that before. Like I have tons of luxury items that I don't get an opportunity to wear. I used to get them you know, I go to church and you get into the sanctuary, you have it on for what, an hour, two hours, and then you go home or you go to lunch, you know, after church. And then what, you know, so I am being much more conscious with my purchases. So I know I'm going to be able to wear this even during the summer. 
even during the summer, I know I'm going to be able to wear this. This can be with a dress. It can be with slacks. It can be with wide leg palazzo pants. It can be with shorts. I can be, I know in my head, I can wear this. So let's see here. Thank you. Yes, it's pretty. It's pretty. It's gorgeous. So these, I got this. And this is my pro. I love them. I do. I love them. So that's my first item. Um, have you guys, any of you tried these on? Look here. Let me tell you all how I shop, right? It's the same way with cars. You don't necessarily have to go buy the item, but just the experience going into the stores and trying the items on to see what you like. You know, the materials, you, 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 you in my opinion, you see the difference in quality and stuff in clothing as well as in shoes, especially if they're made like in Italy and in Spain. And for me, even if you're not able to purchase that item right then and there, just the fact that you went in and you tried it on takes that, you know, push, push yourself to another level. Instead of walking by a store and saying, I can never afford something that's in that store. I can never afford that fragrance. I can never afford that dress. I can never afford that car. You live life. You go in there, you try, you try on whatever, just to get the experience of, you know, doing so. I gave you all that story about me and that dress on Tony Braxton, you know, oh, break my heart. Yeah. I tr well, I didn't try on the dress. I got a little nervous, but I wasn't, the, that's my first experience, right? And so for me, same thing with driving luxury cars and stuff like that. I will go in there, I will drive a Bentley, oh, whatever. They let me drive it, I'm driving it. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's see. Hi, has honey bun, long time no see. Erica, thank you so much for joining. Stacy, how are you? I haven't seen you in a little bit. So that's one item. So we'll put that aside. That's that item that I unboxed. So those are my shoes that I unboxed. The next thing that I went ahead and I purchased and I got this. People asked me about this and I, I really was going back and forth because I've seen these fragrances quite a bit and I had not touched it. I remember in 2020 when the pandemic first started, everybody was talking about this brand, Clive Christian. So I got a whole bunch of samples. I did not get this one, a whole bunch of samples. And in 2021, when I moved, I think I did a video on samples. Whoops, sorry about that. The samples that I got for this. Now for me, in my experience, a lot of times these fragrances they they may smell good, but they remind me of something else. And the one Clive Christian that I really, really liked, that was the X. It smelled just like Gucci Rush. So I kind of like did not want to spend a lot of money on a fragrance that smells pretty much like something else. It smells a lot less, if you know what I mean, right? So this one, I was fortunate enough to get it. It is called, no, it's from the Noble Collection, a Noble Collection. I believe it's noble because that's what it reads to me. And it's Magnolia, a perfume of noble birth. Child, this smells good. Okay. It smells good from the nozzle. Oh, yes. It smells clean. It, the Magnolia in here is so, it's soft. Okay. One thing I forgot to do is pull up for granted. Hold on one second. I actually really, really, it's so beautiful. It smells it smells like money, y'all. I know we, we we use that term a lot. What the hell does money smell like? Actually, money smells kind of like Chris money does not smell like perfume. <laughs> CGDM, thanks for joining. Thank you for joining. So in my, yeah. Money don't smell like, you know, perfume. <laughs> we would like it to. So this is called number eight Rococo Magnolia, and it is a floral. It's it's citrus. It's sweet. It has a moth mothy. In <laughs> if your fragrance smells like a moth, we got a problem. It has a mossy undertone to it. And for those of you that are just joining, Happy Easter! Thank you for joining. It has a mossy undertone to it. Now it has a very very high price point. But if you are fortunate and you go to the, I know they call them the gray market. I just say online shopping. So you can shop online. The only places that I really shop on are from like Lucky Sense and stuff like that. But Fragrance Buy is my number one go-to when I'm looking for fragrance, followed by Fragrance Net because of the discounts. And then So Avant-Garde because people like um, Fab Finds by Keetra has discount. Mr. Cologne has a discount code. And then sometimes So Avant-Garde sends you a discount code, period, like 30% off. You know what I'm saying? So you're getting a discount already. So what's the point 
in spending full price okay i have a reel coming out just now it's kind of i thought it was funny i hope people don't get offended but anywho's i have a reel coming out in reference to that particular thing and it's one of my toxic traits that i do and i don't i don't know why i do it i do it because i think it's important for brands to realize sometimes that they are overcharging us right so anywho's Tiffany, I think I said hello to you already. Thank you for joining. Okay, so let's see who is here. Oh, Nadia, hi. Mm. Thank you, Nadia. Thank you. Hello, Lestat. Hey, Kat. Hi, Teresa. Going back to what Cheryl said, she mentioned that she has some scent fragrances from Omar Luxury. I don't know that brand, not yet anyways, but I am very, very, I'm trying really hard <laughs> to be conscious about the money that I spend. Okay, I'm just saying. So the first item, Luxury Haul, this is Clive Christian number eight, Rococo Magnolia. And it is gorgeous. I did not tell y'all the notes, I just gave you the accords. Chords are normally separate from notes, guys. So in the top, you've got citrus notes. You've got um, mandarin, orange, and bergamot. You've got roses. And you've, of course, got manolia. And then you've got spices. This has a very earthy, in my opinion, a very earthy, ambery tone to it as well when it dries under my skin. I've only worn it because of the price point. <laughs> I've only worn it a few times, y'all. Um, because, you know, your girl can't be spraying, spraying, you know, every spray is like what, $400, I'm just kidding, $400 an ounce or a spray. I got to start thinking like that, you know what I mean? But anyways, yeah, so this one I really, really enjoy. If you get a chance, go to your Neiman Marcus, I'm telling you, go to your Neiman Marcus, even if your sax is carrying it, but go to your Neiman Marcus and then ask them for a sample of these. They have them listed up, lined up there. I, they've had like a whole bunch of them. And sniff those fragrances. When you sniff those fragrances, then you make a note. Or if they can give you an opportunity, you can ask. If you have an opportunity to privately ask, hey, can I get a sample of this or two? And, you know, like I pay for some of my back, um, Maison Francis Kirkshawn. I purchased them full price. And what I did, to be honest, I didn't get them on discount. I bought them full price on the store. And what I got for me, I found is that... Um, the counter person that you're working with, you develop that relationship and that person will give you more than one of the same sample. That way you can really decide if you want to spend that kind of money. You know what I mean? So that's the first one. And let's see. Hi, Super Fragrance Lover. Hello, Rakaya. Thank you for joining. So you guys that just joined... Oh, Teresa asked what she just missed. Um, you missed this. This is Rococo 8, Rococo Magnolia. This is from Clyde Christian, and it is from the Noble Collection. And the first thing that I talked about is my haul of my luxury item. I'm going to show you, Teresa, because I, I know you appreciate flat. <laughs> These shoes. I've been hemming and hawing about them and I absolutely love them. These are Pradas. They're very comfortable. They come in three different heights and style. I purchased the one with the, um, I would say the medium um, platform. Very, very comfortable on the feet. And I can wear this with different outfits because I, to be honest with you, the way I dress, I'm very, I'm very different in the way I dress. So I think it suits me well. So those will, that was, I want to say that was like $1,400 $1, or something like that, or a little more than that, something like that, plus tax. So best believe I'm going to be getting my price per wear. Y'all know I'm not playing with that, okay? I'm, I'm going to be getting my price. You like? Yeah, they're gorgeous and comfortable. So instead of buying a shoes for $100 and I barely wear it, I buy one that I really, really love and then I'll wear it over and over and over. Okay, that's just how I roll. All right, so this is the first one. Now, the next item that I purchased, and this I purchased from my friend Lisa on Facebook, and this is by Loewe, and it is called Ella. This, guys, it is so sweet, but not like... Not cotton candy, sweet. Oh, 
I've been dying to smell these fragrances because this they come across as very uh very modern the, the packaging the packaging comes across very modern very she 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 chic not too over the top not too exact you know it's not too exaggerated clean lines which i do appreciate the bottle is a beautiful color because y'all know i love me some orange but when i got my opportunity to get my hands on this one i jumped on it so let me pull up the notes for you it's fresh it's great for the summer It is great for the summer and mm, it's yummy. It's it's so, how do I say it? It's so, I want to say delectable, but I've been using that word a lot. I need a new word. So it's from the Solo Collection. It is fruity, fresh, citrusy, woody, and powdery a little bit. I don't get the powdery. The top notes are pear. So I like pear fragrances because this, LaBelle, there's quite a few fragrances that I really like that I didn't know that they had pear in it. And this one gives me that. It's got peach, bitter orange, pear, and the top notes, and apple as well. So it has that green undertone with the citrus. So you've got citrus, fruity, bottom line fruity. And then in the middle, you know, most of the times fragrance uh, perfumers put all their fragrance uh, floral notes in the middle with a little bit of spice. So you've got your heliotrope, you've got your um, green tea, you've got your violet, you've got your damask rose, you've got your jasmine. And I am a jasmine lover. I didn't realize I love jasmine that much, but I am. So that's what this one is by um, Loewe and it's called Ella. And that's, I got that from Lisa. And then, and then, okay. So those I want to go into the samples, but before I go into the samples, yeah, let me finish up the samples. Then I reached out. Um, I don't know if you guys know, her name is Life. Is it Life Junkie? Her name is Kat on Instagram. And she is doing a collaborative effort with Pink Mahogany, PM Fragrances. So she's doing a collaborative, collaborative effort with that company. OMG, guys. It's called Bubble Face. Now, I know she's been talking about this fragrance, you know, like she'll hint a little bit by, you know, putting it, uh, information out on Instagram. But guys, mm, I have tried PM. <laughs> Thank you, Teresa. Lisa has some sitting. Yes, Lisa does. Lisa is awesome. She's awesome. So I got... Here we go. I asked for a sample of her new fragrance. And it was, you know, this is the package it came in. And of course, I already opened it, y'all. But when I open, when I pull this out, I smell this fragrance and I was like, holy mackerel, this thing is delicious. Like I smelled, y'all know I like fruits, right? Like Caribbean fruits. Ugh. Out the package, I was getting that and I, that excitement and my mouth was doing that like I want to eat. And this is, look at the package. It's so sweet. I love, you know, I love when people are really nice when they uh, send you stuff. So oh, it smells so good. The card smells so good. Yeah, I'm sniffing like this, y'all, because it smells good. So I will bring this up to the camera so you guys can see. So this is pink mahogany. This is the perfumer. And our, um, it's not really, let's see, there we go. That's better, right? So this fragrance was a collaborative effort. My makeup got on there. A collaborative effort between Life with Junkie. We call her Cat. <laughs> okay, her name is Katrina, right? The Life Junkie, not Life with Junkie. The Life Junkie and Pink Mahogany. And it is called Bubble Face, Okay. This is, I'll read out the description for you. It says, upon meeting, it was like they had known each other before. Another time or space. Was it fate, serendipity? And the, I like the graphics on here. Look at that. Love the graphics. Love the graphics. But the feelings are unimaginable, which is what I smelled when I opened the package. I'm, I'm talking about just from the envelope, mind you. Butterfly whispers in their bellies. So that like magnetic. You know, when you meet somebody that you like, whether it's a friend or or somebody that you just love, a girlfriend that you just know that you're going to be friends with that person. That's what this, when I smell this, I was like, ah. Oh. And then last night I watched um, 80 for Brady, you know, and I was like, oh, 
that's the kind of girlfriend or friend, not just girlfriend, but just friends. When you have friends and you just connect with them and you love them so much. So this fragrance is so yum, yum. I love it. Now, I don't know. I didn't know what the notes were in here initially, but it has it on the card. Bubbly champagne kisses, enchanting cranberry, erotic co coconuts, malted ginger, and succulent sandalwood. I don't think I have come across another perfume. And I've tried Pink Mahogany two years ago for Black History Month. I did like her whole series that she had available. But this, none of her stuff smelled like this to me. This is yum, yum. This is yummy in the tummy, okay? The cranberry in here. And the card is saturated with the scent, so I don't even have to spray this. The card is saturated with it. It's got, a, I like coconuts. It does not, I don't see mango in here. And then the sandalwood gives it a nice creamy vibe. But this is absolutely stunning. I think this, they knocked it out of the park with this one. Now, that's just my opinion, guys. Mine, okay? Now, if you get a chance, check out Pick Mahogany's page and see if you can order yourself a sample and try it. And please, if you are a content creator, I would love to hear from you. Come back to my videos. Let me know if you felt the same way about it. Hey, Latonya. Hi, Sylvia. Happy Resurrection Day to you too. Happy Easter, my dears. Yes, Bubble Face smells really yummy. It's fresh, it's light. And in my opinion, this is a perfect release time. I don't know when the, the actual bottles are going to be released. But guys, this smells like, a, it's like friendship, summer, girls trip, guys trip. It doesn't smell wholly feminine to me. But I do see this being much more feminine than masculine. But I could see... It doesn't matter what your pheromones are. You know how it is with your body, right? It's your body that tells you how a fragrance is going to smell on you. Yep. Hi, Night Nurse. Hi, Shopaholics Blog. Thanks for joining. And Aislinn's Perfume Wardrobe. Thank you for joining. Okay. So that, oh, it's so, I love it. It's yummy to me. Okay. So I'm going to put this back in here. And I don't need to open this, but I will. And I'm going to, so it's in a glass. It's beautiful. Cat, y'all did the damn thing. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is so nice. I still get mango. So maybe it's a combination of the champagne notes and the combination of the champagne notes. And again, the, um, the coconut, but this is yummy and it's zesty. It's, it's uplifting. It's beautiful. My recommendation, and that's just from, I smelled it before. When I opened that package, I was like, oh my God. I took a shower and I, I was like, this makes me feel so happy because I did take a shower and then I opened the pack and I was like, oh, it's not relaxing. It's effervescent. It's bright. It is not mysterious. It is just friendly. Have you heard it? Nobody describe a fragrance like that, right? Friendly. <laughs> Anyways, Kat, congratulations to you and Pink Mahogany. This is definitely, in my opinion, full bottle worthy. All right, so let's move on. And for those of you who have shopped from this house before, you know what this box represents. This is the house of Kriegler. I have a collection of Kriegler already. I have three full bottles. One of the bottles, well, Kriegler's prices went up. Um, I want to say earlier this year or late last year. Hi, Angel. Okay, so the prices went up. So this is a box of samples. And when you order the samples, now Kriegler samples are pretty expensive. They're like $35, I want to say. And, you know, ordered a few. And I initially, I didn't realize that I had gotten some samples from my hubby. And I did not realize that um, I gave them away without really thinking yeah, I wasn't really thinking. I just like gave them away when I was packing up things that people bought for the auction a couple of years ago. And I was just dumb. So when I went back looking for my <laughs> samples, I couldn't find them. <laughs> mm. Oh my God, that bubble face is yummy in the tummy, guys. So I got these samples. And the first one I'm going to talk about real quick. This is 219, number 219. And this is called Palm Dream. So like I said, I reordered it because I didn't remember what they look like or what they smelled like. And 
Yeah, your girl was not very smart. <laughs> oh, gosh. Mm. I have to go on the Kriegler page because one, one, what I noticed with Kriegler... Um, What I notice is when I go to For Granted, because sometimes their stuff don't pop up. So I normally just go to the Kriegler page and pull up the notes. So this is an amber fragrance. It's in the floral, spicy, woody category, and it has cedarwood and leather. So this is a fragrance. Once I see leather at the beginning of a fragrance note description or the pyramid or the story, however you want to call it, once I see that, immediately, I always think that is going to be sort of a unisex fragrance. Hello. Oh, I can't pronounce that. I'm going to break it down phonetically. There's Eugene, there's Eugene, something to that effect. I'm sorry. Hi, thanks for joining. So this is Palm, uh, Palm Dream 219. If you've sampled this before, um, let me know, please. A sample size is two milliliters and it costs $40. Yeah. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. The 50 milliliter for this, this is a parfum and not an eau de parfum. So this, the 50 milliliter is $555. And then the 100 mil is $725. So yes, it's expensive. <laughs> it's expensive, y'all. If you guys tried Palm Dream number 219, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear from you. So this one... I've got five plus three, eight, eight more to go. So let's put it right in the corner right here next to Palm Dream, next to a Bubble Face. Y'all, Bubble Face is, I want one. I want a bottle. Hopefully she does 30 mils bottles. So yes, just like I said, the leather at the top is pronounced on my skin. My skin pulls leather really quick. Leather cannot hide from me, okay? Leather can't hide from me. It don't matter if it's in the top or the bottom, my skin pulls it automatically. And if a fragrance has a lot of leather in it, what happens is it comes off of my skin, sort of like burnt rubber initially until the dry down. So I have to let it dry down. That's what happens with uh, Spiritual Fiorentino for me. This fragrance angel is Palm Dream number 219. And this is by Kriegler. Now, I would say that it has leather. The leather is, is permeating my skin right now. It's not bad, but it's a great, it's, if you like leather in your fragrances, if you like wood and amber, this is great for, I think this is more suited for a gentleman. This has orange blossom as well, orris, patchouli, pepper, raspberry, and vanilla. So my recommendation, to be honest with you, if you're looking for something for your guy, something that's special, if you live in the Dallas, the Houston area, Las Vegas, I want to say New York, there are some Kriegler boutiques. Give it, give, give it, Kriegler's been around for, for some time. So give it a whiff. Okay. And see? You get for forty dollars. You get in a pretty box, pretty little package, and then the little uh, label is normally attached to it. But I was playing with them, so the label came off. This is the little label to tell you what fragrance is on there. So they don't spare any uh, details for the forty bucks they're charging you. So then, <laughs> oh my god, yeah. So. Yes, their samples used to be 25 and then it went up to 30 and or 32, something like that. And yeah, now that it's drying down, it's a little, I can, I can deal with it more. But for me, I think that it's more, it's not for me. Palm Dream is not one I would get a full bottle of. Teresa was saying on YouTube, T Teresa was saying that Kriegler samples used to be 25. G guys, sourcing things, everything is more expensive. We're paying eight bucks for a dozen eggs if we're lucky. So, you know, at the end of the day, everything, price is going up. The price is going up. What was the price yesterday and the price today? So this one, I'm sorry, this one is number 218. And this is Palais Monarchy, Monarch. I want to say it's the Palais Monarch, Monarch. Is that how you say that, Monarch? So let's pull that up. Two nineteen. Dum dum dum. Hmm. The dry down is not bad, and sitting next to um bubble phase, it's giving me a nice vibe. So let's search for it instead of me looking. 
This is number 218. It is a perfume. Again, this is not a um, eau de parfum. I got lipstick on my hand. All right, so this one here has bergamot, almond, pear, and cinnamon, patchouli, jasmine, orange. So this is nice. Let's spray it on my hand. Ooh, yes. Automatically. Automatically, yes. Yes, this is this is it. This is a nice almond fragrance. And I I did a split with Chris Martin. He's on in our fragrance group on on Facebook. And I get I got me a small decant and I should have gotten a bigger one <laughs> of 219. So I uh, excuse me, yeah. Mm, this is good. This is delicious. I don't know about y'all, but I love Craigslist fragrances. So Palais or Palais, don't know what it transcribed to. I'm just saying my French is horrible. So I would say it's probably saying the monarch or the palace monarch or the monarch of the palace or something to that effect. This fragrance is about, let's see, it says here, it's a complex fragrance. It plays homage to, well, not not uh, French, but Italian, to Vienna's famed coffee house scene and the acclaimed society of writers. Ooh, and I like to write because I am a writer. Uh, Stefan Zweig, Hermann Barr, Rudolf Steiner, who made there's a late 19th century. This was made in the late 19th century. It's savory, sweet. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And after I'm done with this 5 mil decant, I might just go ahead and see if Chris has other ones or... I might just go ahead and buy a bottle or ask for a bottle for Mother's Day. This is beautiful. Palais Monarch or Monarchy. It's got whipped cream in there. It's got cake in there. It is nice, guys. You guys really need to get your nose on that one. Now, I only sprayed this one, I think, two or three times. So I will put that back in the little bag. And then the next one I have, I know what this is because I purchased it. This, this bottle was $995. When uh, I received it, when I asked for it for Christmas. And this is Eleganta Schwan 06. This is a limited fragrance. It used to be very limited, meaning that they only make a certain amount of bottles every single year. So if you've smelled this one, let me know. The price for it has gone up significantly. It is, it is a limited edition perfume. The 100 ml bottle is now $1,215. The 50 ml bottle is now $810. And then the sample is now $50. Yeah. I'm still loving that Palais Monarchy. Let's see. Oh, you bought, now Teresa said she bought English Promenade. English Promenade, I bought a decant of that one as well. Have any of you smelled this one yet? Let me see. Am I missing comments? I think I'm missing comments. Nope, I'm not. On Instagram, I'm not. So, oh guys, don't forget to hit the like button. Please hit the like button. Thank you very much. All right. So this one here, in my opinion, is one of the best fragrances in my collection. I mean, it's gorgeous. On my skin, it is absolutely gorgeous. It was taken off the market in the 1920s. Um, I don't know why, but Kriegler made it. It's a spicy, rosy scent, and it was supposed to be like a winter version of a, a winter-spring type of fragrance, right? Because it has floral accents and romantic sandalwoods and whatnot. Well, they took it off the market, and then they brought it back. Um, I want to say, I don't know exactly when they brought it back, but it's still limited. So whenever they sell out of it, then they no longer sell it until they re-release it. But this, guys, I absolutely love this one. So this is Elegante Schwann, and I'm not even going to spray this one because I already have the bottle. Um, I will tell you that I absolutely love this fragrance. In my opinion, the rose, the center, it's got lime. And it's got a citrus note in there, but what I get is this sort of warm yet creamy 
yet spicy, yet very, I won't say sharp, but it's sort of uplifting when I wear it. And so once it, once I spray it on, it's very uplifting. And I think that's the lime notes in there. And then what happens is as it dries down, that's when I get the creamy effects of it. It doesn't have a lot of, not, it does not have a lot of um, notes in it. You know, like some fragrances have 20 plus notes in it. Krigulous fragrances for the most part are not like that unless they are not necessarily telling us that <laughs> all those notes that they have in there so that people don't duplicate that stuff but yeah anyways this is also a parfum i tend to like their parfums mm. i'm still smelling that first one and that leather is getting a little better it's warming up on my skin but I, it's not my thing it's not my it's not my go-to that that wouldn't be for me palm dream is not for me yep so let's move on so I think I've got all of those. Oh, the last one I have is number 216. Not the last one, but the last one I bought the set. The last one I have is 216, and this is called Cabaret. There are some people who have a ton of Kriegler. I don't have that kind of money, y'all. You know. I don't have that kind of lifestyle. Cabaret number 216. This one is $35 for a two mil. This one is has lilac. So it opens up with lilac and bergamot, mandarin tuberose. So it's a little, in my opinion, there's sort of a citrus, citrus vibe to it. It's supposed to be reminiscent. If you think about cabaret type dancing, if you look at movies, um, I like musicals. So you look at movies and they have like the cabaret. If you think about um, old school, you know, the, the, the mesh stockings or the, um, yeah, the mesh stockings and stuff like that, you know, just the, the whole vibe, the makeup, the dot on the face, the 1920s swinging, that type of stuff, the cabaret with the, you know, the cinched waist, bustiers, all of that. That's what I think when I think cabaret, um, men dressed to the nine, feathers everywhere, luxury. It's just literally luxury. That's what I think about when I think about cabaret. Fragrances to me, it transports me. I know that it's not, I may not be the best descriptive of something to allow people to figure out whether they want to buy something or not. But with me, fragrance is an experience. So if I'm reminded of something, if it's reminiscent of something else, I tend to talk about that more so than just the notes. Now, if it reminds me of another fragrance, of course, I'll talk about that. So let's just, speaking of that, let's just get into cabaret. Oops, I sprayed it on my watch. We don't want that. Ah, uh, this is nice. It is sexy and sensual, but also very bright. Right now, I'm getting bright. I'm getting sexy. I'm getting evening. I'm not getting, I wouldn't wear this during the day, believe it or not. I wouldn't reach, although wear what you want when you want, but. I wouldn't wear this during the day. This is also coming off to me as a little bit unisex, even though it has all of those fragrance notes at the top. Well, there's no top, middle, or bottom. They're all listed here. But even though you're getting those fragrance notes like that, I don't think it's a fragrance that I would say, you know, it's just for men or women. I think it's a good unisex note. It has a sexy vibe to it. Very sensual. Yeah. Like very sensual. And not sensual as in like Armani Privé, um, Amber, uh, Ambre Centrico or, you know, Angel Sherry. Nothing like that. This is just like, it's got a boozy effect, but boozy from fruits. If you ever made fruit wine, you know, you put your fruits to, to make wine and stuff. That's the kind of booziness I get. And then I get a creaminess. This is nice. This is grown up. Nice, 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 nice. 216 is nice. Don't know if I would get a full bottle of it. I'd probably get a decant of it a partial of it, but I do like it, but it's not like on the top of my list to purchase. So the next one that I have is someone mentioned um, that they have, and I have this one here and this, oh, do I? Yes, I do have it. So it's English Promenade. That's number 19. I bought a decant from Chris. Then I've got number 77, which is Emerald Noir. Let me put my glasses on y'all. I'm trying to look cute. I can't see shit stuff. Excuse my language. Emerald Noir. And this is number 77 and Subtle Orchid, which is number 10. So English Promenade, we talked about that. No, we didn't. Teresa just said she had it. So let me spray that on my right hand. 
This is nice. Right off the bat with Kriegler's, Kriegler's fragrances, I don't necessarily have to wait for them to dry to like them, to the experience. I actually really like, like them as soon as they spray on, which makes it easy for me to select whether I like something or not. And if I have to wait for something to dry down, to like it, I'm not really feeling that vibe anymore. I'm out of that space. It's nice. It's nice. Now, English Promenade, I might buy a full bottle, but I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I'm not sure if I want a full bottle of it. I'm very selective lately, y'all. <laughs> I'm very selective lately. Hey, Jessica. Yeah. I understand that. Teresa says on YouTube, she says there's a lot that she wants from Kriegler, but she's going to pace herself. And I understand that quite. I understand that. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Naps and Nurture. Thanks for joining. Hello, Manikiev. Thank you for joining. C-Jar Jonah, thank you for joining. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate it. So English Promenade. Ooh, now that it's drying down, it's it take long to get there. It is nice. Let's pull up the notes for English Promenade. Kriegler also, ha they have a lot. They have like candles. They have soap. It's an old house, guys. I'm talking about an old fragrance house. And if you look at it, it's a lot of royalty. Like a lot of the fragrances were created for royalty. So it's not a fragrance house that, you know, doesn't, it has a story and a history behind it. English Promenade is an eau de parfum. It is not a full-blown parfum. 10 mil is, I'm sorry, 100 mil is 615. 50. The reason I'm talking about the prices, guys, is because the prices went up, okay? The price went up. <laughs> the 50 mil is $455. The 100 mil is $615. And then the two milliliter, which is the sample size, is $35. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like. So it has grapefruit, jasmine, neroli. So it has citrus notes, orange blossom, orange flowers, which gives you that sweet, creamy vibe, leafy, but creamy. And then you've got musk and ylang ylang. Yes, it is nice. English Promenade is very pretty. And I would say English Promenade is probably one of the safest scents from Kriegler because it doesn't smell like anything else that I have in my collection. However, it smells very likable, very easy to like, very gift worthy. Um, I don't see somebody saying, I don't like this fragrance. Now, they might say, I don't like it when they see the price point, but <laughs> but I don't see somebody saying flat out, I do not like this fragrance. In my opinion, I could be wrong. <laughs> I could be wrong, dead wrong. <laughs> okay. Teresa says that it has longevity on her. She gets about nine hours. Ah, Jessica says something that I agree with. So in my opinion, and I struggle with this. I struggle with this. In my opinion, if, if you look at the price point, price per milliliter or whatever, however you ounce and stuff like that with fragrances, when you buy a 50 mil, if you spend $20 more, excuse me, you can do the 100 mil and then you could split with someone else that may like that fragrance. Um, hold on, let me have a, let me have some tea, guys. Hold on one second. Mm. All right, thank you. So if you buy 100 mil of a fragrance, so that was 500 and how much was it? 515 or 455 for 50 mil. So 455 times two, would be $910 for a hundred mil if you're just looking at the price point. So why not just buy the hundred mil where you would pay $615 for it instead of nine something for it? You see what I'm saying? So I get that. For me, then I would be looking at how do you split this, right? Split this cost. Who gets the bottle? <laughs> Which one of the friend group gets the bottle? You know what I'm saying? I would say the person that went to drive to go buy it or whatever, you know, who used their car, they they gonna get the they gonna get the bottle because the bottles, I love the bottles, but they look very um apothecary like, very chemistry like. So 
Anyways, guys, don't forget to hit the like button. Please, please, please. I keep saying that. Don't forget to hit the like button. And then when I upload this video, make sure you share it, please, with other individuals. But back to English Promenade. It's nice. It has a soapy type vibe. Like, very, like you're in a bougie. It's nice. It's nice. It has, on my skin, I'm getting slightly a lipstick switch up. But not like cheap lipstick. It's nice. English Promenade is nice. So let's see. Next, we are going to go into, I think we did Subtle Orchid already. Yes, we did. And then Emerald Noir. Emerald Noir. I need to. Mm, this is good. Emerald Noir is nummy. It's yummy. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Emerald Noir is yummy. And so, oh my gosh, so is Subtle Orchid. I can't keep saying this over and over. So everything, with the exception of the first one, which was two. I look on to Schwann. I already have that bottle. Let me look at the one. That I like them all. Palm, Palm Dream. Palm Dream is the only one I was, oh my gosh. Just take me now. Take my wallet. Take my retirement. Just take it. Take it. I will sell out all of these. I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh. It is so good. These are yummy, yummy. Mmm. And put together. There is something about perfumes that just does it for us, isn't it? <laughs> okay. Again, the price point for Krieglis fragrances went up. When you purchase, you're getting the experience of a beautifully packaged item. They come in these pretty gold boxes, which are reusable. I mean, but most people throw out their packaging. I don't. Um, and then each of them come inside a bag and it has a tag on it on what the fragrance are. Now, it used to be $25. It's no longer $25. So the price points for the um, samples range between, I believe, $35. 40. If it's an eau de parfum, I believe it's 35. If it's a parfum, 40 to 55, $60. So just keep that in mind. The fragrance price points, the one that I have that is a limited edition one, which is the uh, Eleganta Schwann, that one went up in price. It's now $1,215 for a bottle, a large bottle. <clears throat> so my recommendation is if you can sample it first, I would recommend doing so. That's what I would recommend. The other thing is that what I noticed with Kriegler fragrances, I don't know about anybody else's bottle, the way they make their fragrances, their bottles, the atomizer is so finely, it comes out. So normally when you spray a fragrance, it squirts and then it, it, it comes out. So it squirts straight and then it opens up and widens out with the exception of some others like Kayali does that, the, the mist is fine. Um, Salvatore Ferragamo, if you look inside the bottle, the mist is very, very, very skinny the mister on um, the tubing and that allows for the fragrance to come out in a very very soft mist on the skin what kriegler has done and i'm not an engineer of bottling okay but what kriegler has done is the way they created it, it makes they make it very hard to decant the fragrances because there is a little bit of waste when you spraying if you're a sprayer spraying into those little decant bottles um i have my little bottles here that i use what happens is it um it starts leaking, the oil starts coming out around the nozzle because it's meant to come, when you spray it, it's meant to come out and come on the skin, not into a small port or small mouth opening of a bottle. So just please keep that in mind. I wasted abracadabra, I was making samples for somebody and a lot of my stuff wasted, a lot to me because those fragrances are very expensive. And um, so that's when I tell people, that's my recommendation, I cannot decant those without making a mess and so, I'm not going to waste fragrance like that, especially when it costs that much. Yes, yeah, Subtle Orchid is beautiful. <laughs> Jessica says she ain't splitting. <laughs> Jessica says she ain't splitting. <laughs> okay. Oh, my God. Guys, Subtle Orchid, Emerald Noir, those two are definitely full body worthy. I would say English Promenade is also full body worthy. Of course, Eleganza Schwann, I have that. It's full body worthy. Um, Lovely Patchouli, 55, is full body worthy. Abracadabra is full body worthy. But body, 
bottle worthy, but these fragrances are not for everyone. So please keep that in mind. All right, let's move on to the last item on the docket. Is it the last item? I think it's the last item on the docket today. And that's another unboxing. And this is a surprise. Oh, this is a surprise. I will talk about this one later. I don't want to talk about this one today. I don't want to talk about you today. I want to get to the good stuff. Uh, I got a box in the mail. So this is the PR. This is from the House of Siage. And we are opening it together. So I have not, I don't know what's in here. I really don't. I don't know what's in here. I have not smelled it. Obviously, I'm opening the box. So we are experiencing this together. I'm pulling back a little bit so you guys can see. Okay, the box is gorgeous. If you can see, I have an idea what this is. If you've been on the House of Siash page, they had a recent release. Oopsie. Let me just pull this out from here. There we go. I barely have room to walk in this room. <laughs> wow. Okay. I think I know what this is. The box is fabulous, though. Guys, I don't know about y'all. Those of you that purchased from House of Siash, I don't throw them boxes away. I reuse them. This is the box. Isn't it gorgeous? I just opened it up. Look at the interior. This is gorgeous, guys. Oh, my gosh. The packaging. Folks, they can't touch the House of Siage and the packaging. Oh, my goodness. And then you can pull this down as well. I normally don't. But the box is magnetic. Let's open it up together. I was going to do a video yesterday on it. And I was like, nah, let me go live. Ooh. I know, I knew it. Once I saw the box, I knew what it was. This is the latest release. This is the companion fragrance to Ruby Rain. And this is called Ruby Flame. And this guy is gorgeous. <laughs> he is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Yeah. That model is handsome. So this is what the bottle looks like. And it is a sample card. So the fragrance is on the card. I noticed that a lot of fragrance um, companies are going back to old school. Like when you go in a magazine, you know how you flip through the magazine and the perfumes would be in a magazine and stuff like that? They're going back to that. So this is the box right here. So let's talk about this fragrance. And don't see anything else in here. Did they send me anything else? Nope, that's it. So House of Siage, thank you very much. I really appreciate you sending me this fragrance. It is called Ruby Flame. It is a companion to the um, Ruby Rain. And Ruby Rain is the flanker to Emerald Rain, which is from the Signature Collection. And that's the one that has the green um, crystals on it. If you are new here, um, I'm a House of Siage. I consider myself a House of Siage aficionado. I love the House of Siage fragrances. Smells a little guyish. I'm excited. So let's open that up. Excuse the noise. If I had filmed this, it would have been like fast forwarded. <laughs> For those of you that <laughs> ASMR folks. <laughs> Okay, Teresa says she doesn't throw away her um her bottles. Ooh, hold on now. Gosh, this is nice and tight. Okay, I just got oh party, party, party. This is the bottle. It's got those ruby colored Swarovski crystals in the eye. I don't know if you guys can see it on Instagram. It's gorgeous. <laughs> yes, ASMR vibes. I love it. Right? 
it is absolutely gorgeous and now you see i took the top off the box and i think i don't know if that was supposed to happen but look at the inside of it i see glue here so i'm assuming it wasn't supposed to happen so i can fix that later i guess let me put that back in there perhaps it's for the bottles the bottles when you're transporting sometimes they fall out of the um out of oh my goodness the packaging is nice ruby red on the inside look at that ruby red on the inside this is really pretty and that's a velvety spongy velvet sponge is what i would say it is like a, see that so the packaging for, for House of Siage, one of the things that I love about these bottles, guys, this is how you open it. There is a knob, not a knob, but a button right here, and it opens like a cigarette lighter, right? And then you close it back. So press that. That's how it opens up. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm excited because I also have, let me just, let me just show you all this one. This one here is Passion de l'Amour. What is it? Passion de l'Amour Nouvelle Liaison. And this for a friend, this is like the male version of Passion de l'Amour, but I love this fragrance. This, if I used to club and stuff like that, if I was younger and was like partying hard and stuff like that, like I used to, I was a dancer back in the day. No music. I was never sitting down nowhere. I was on the dance floor all the time. <laughs> but this one here, I love this fragrance. It's very sexy. I love this one. And my husband loves it as well. But let's see what, let's see what Ruby Flame smells like. Ruby Flame is yummy. Ruby Flame is absolutely yummy, guys. Oh, I forgot to tell you all what the notes are. <laughs> I got so excited. I got so excited. Okay, I don't know what I did with the, the... Oh, here it is right here. Oh, this is yummy. Hi, Kimberly. Hi. Oh. Oh, my gosh, guys. Ruby Flame. Oh. So I am smelling what it tells me it is. Top notes of cocoa shell, not the cocoa. If you, not everybody has access to things that we have if you come from the Caribbean and stuff like that, right? So when you open up a cocoa plant or a cocoa, it has the, just like a coconut, it has the lining that, so it's a shell that they use and not, oh my God, not the powder. Coriander seed, pink pepper. I'm getting excited because this is a, to me, this is a good release. They did good with this one. The middle, oh my gosh. All right, for those of y'all that don't know, I love House of Siage. Let me say that already. I know people be coming for me about it, talking about whether or not I get PR. Yes, I get PR, but I'm telling you, if I like something, if I don't like something, I'm not going to bash anybody because just because I like something or I don't like something, other people might like it. And I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm not about that life, okay? Anyways, <laughs> it has coca shell in the top, coriander seed in the middle, coca, sh coca shell, I can't even speak. I'm so excited because it's that good. It's like, to me, it's like the Batman one. Like, I really love that one. A lot of people couldn't stand it. And I love that fragrance. Anyways, cocoa shell, coriander seed, and pink pepper is at the top. Then you've got jasmine, absolute sandback, and Turkish rose. I love Turkish rose in the middle. And in the bottom, you have patchouli. I am not a patchouli lover. I am not a patchouli lover. But yet, I love this fragrance already. Love at first sniff for me. I need to hide this from Joseph, my husband. <laughs> you jacket. <laughs> Actually, I'm trying to intermingle our fragrances together. He has Sultan in his office. I put it there to like film something and I left it in there and he never brought it back. <laughs> mm, guys, this is good. Okay. Again, this is the new release. It is a companion for, let me go ahead and get that for you. Give me one second. Okay. So this is what the companion is. This is Ruby Rain. Ruby Rain was the flanker released last year for Emerald Rain. And this one is gorgeous. 
gorgeous fragrance. And you have Ruby Flame, which is the coordinating fragrance. So if you are buying for yourself, you and your spouse, ta-da! And oh, by the way, Pam Scott, a affiliate code, affiliate link. I don't have a discount code for the House of Siash because almost everything is on sale. So normally I will tell people if you want to get something right away, like right, right away, you go ahead and you purchase it right away. But if you wait a couple of weeks, a lot of times House of Siash is extremely generous with their sales. I'm just saying, just make sure you use my affiliate link, which will be in the, excuse me, it's in my bio or in my description. Use that link to purchase, please. I get a small percentage when you do. So look at that. It's like shining off the light. It's, look at that. Ooh, ooh, it's bouncing off the light. So Jessica. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is really pretty. I'm still, still like coming off of my skin. I could see myself like nuzzling up to a guy wearing, well, my husband wearing this, but it's absolutely beautiful, guys. It's beautiful. And the, look at the packaging. I love it. My fingerprint gets all over it because I've got lotion on my hand. All right? Gorgeous. Would make a great gift. Father's Day, birthday gift for yourself because it doesn't necessarily have to be for a guy. I always tell people that fragrance is subjective, one. And two, yes, there are some fragrances that are specifically specifically catered to men when they are just like this one, right? The packaging, right? Has a guy on there. But this is a fragrance that you can wear if you're a woman. I think it's soft enough that a woman could wear it. The Turkish rose in here is beautiful. It's not too stark or anything like that. Not too sweet. I really, really like this release. House of Siage, guys, thank you so very much for sending this to me. And oh, by the way, y'all, I like this a lot. <laughs> I also love this, <laughs> but I like this a lot. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't wait to wear these. I am now thinking, guys, I literally just had this thought process right now, live. I'm going to layer them. So I spread that there. Let me put this on another pulse point. Let that dry down a bit. They smell very, they coordinate together. John with a spoon. They coordinate. <laughs> they coordinate. You know, he pulls his belt up with his mushroom outfit. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Again, thank you very much to the House of Siash for sending me that. I do like it quite a bit. As you guys saw, it comes in gorgeous packaging. In my opinion, it's a great gift for whomever is in your family that likes those notes fragrance. This is gorgeous. I can't really, now the top is keeps, that's the only thing that I'm wondering. I think I did that by pulling the way I opened it, but we'll figure it out. Here we go. We'll figure it out. My thought process right now, this is gorgeous. I could see this being a great gift. Now, the bottle is the same color as the limited edition. It's no longer released. Um, it was the one with the balloon on it, the air balloon, Aeronauts. Um, so that's the same sort of color, uh, the red and gold, but I like gold anyways. I love it. Okay, guys. So let's see what time it is now. 6.38. We're 8. Is it similar to Ruby Rain? Yes, it is. But I would say it's a little more... I get a little more cocoa. Let's look up the notes for Ruby Rain real quick. The Ruby Rain does not have the cocoa in it at all. It has tonka bean, which is similar, but it's not the same. So Ruby Rain actually has saffron on it, whereas this one does not. This has no, this has no saffron. Ruby Rain has not have coriander either. So pink pepper, nope. Notes are completely different. Ruby Rain also has incense. And Ruby Rain does not have it. Well, it has rose, but it doesn't say if it's Turkish rose. And oh, by the way, let me talk about the presentation real quick. I don't know if you guys know, but this is 18 karat gold plated. Okay. The eyes are Swarovski crystals. 
So it's not lost on just the, the, the packaging when you're, I'm a rough hand person and I have to take acknowledge that because sometimes when I would move things from one room to the next to film, so some of my crystals fell out and that's because of the way I hand it, handled some of my, my, um, my cupcakes. Um, so it is what it is, but these are 18 carat gold plated items. So you're getting what you pay for in terms of the heftiness and the weight and the presentation. It does make, in my opinion, it does make, you know, a statement. Okay. Thank you for joining the Scented Well, Frederick408 and all things Kelly. Thank you for joining. And Hajmar, thank you for joining as well. Yeah, the bottles are gorgeous, guys. I am serious. This, this is... It's beautiful. It's beautiful. And it smells really nice. I'm still liking it. And the dry down is subtle. It's not heavy. It's not, you know, sometimes, sometimes I've sat down in meetings, like I do overspray and I sat down in meetings next to people and they have on their fragrances and they, it might be too much. Like they, and it's just too much. Like sometimes when men's fragrances is just too much, when men overspray and it's just too much, I can see overspraying that fragrance and not feeling too nauseated or anything like that sitting next to somebody, but you don't need to overspray it because to me, it feels very elegant, very smooth, very debonair or debonair. You know, that's what I'm getting with it. So that is the House of Siage. That was my PR from the House of Siage, Ruby Flame. And it is in Companion. Let me pull this up again. It is in Companion. This was, oh, I think this is still on sale on the House of CR site. It is a Companion to Ruby Rain. I do have a affiliate code or affiliate link in my description. Please consider using that if you decide to purchase it. Anything from the House of CR, please consider doing that. I would greatly appreciate it. And I also shared Loewe. This is Ella by Loewe. This is eight Rococo Magnolia. That was also in the haul. And I hauled some samples from Kriegler. I'm just kind of going back real quick and doing a quick overhaul. So Kriegler samples, I went over that. Please, if you're coming, joining late, just go back and watch the video. It's not that long. And then my very first uh, unboxing that I did. Are these luxury shoes. These are by Prada. And I love these, these loafers, absolutely gorgeous, extremely comfortable. The price point was a little bit higher than I wanted to pay for it, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. So let me know if you've tried these on, I recommend you go to Saks and try them on. Saks on Neiman Marcus by Saks um, is where I got mine. And um, it was, it was expensive. Okay. You can look up the price. <laughs> it was expensive. And I think that, oh, 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 oh. And I also got, I also push, I tell you guys to buy decants and buy samples on the Facebook group, uh, Frag Talk or um, Femme Frag Heads, those groups, there are people there who sell decants. And so you get to test out fragrances. And I tested out three bottles. One of them fell. Here it is. Three bottles. I bought uh, decants. I wish I had bought bigger decants now, but English Promenade, Subtle Orchid, and Emerald Noir are the three that I bought, and I love those. So those are full body worthy, full bottle worthy to me. If you have any questions or if you are joining the live, just joining it, again, my name is Pam, and I talk about all things fragrance and luxury, common sense and luxury, because I think that shopping should be done in a commonsensical fashion. And uh, if you have not subscribed to my channel or you don't follow me on the socials, Instagram, I'm over there on Instagram. I'm over there on TikTok. I do a lot of um, reviews and lives and stuff like that. I try to keep it light. Um, I don't always come face front with the camera. Some of my um, items that you see, my products, my reels, my content will be behind the camera, but you'll hear the same voice. So just know it's me. <laughs> oh, oh, before I forget. And I also, I also, how can I forget this? I also talked about this PR that I received. It's a sample. It's called Bubble Face. This is from an Instagram. It's a collaboration between a perfumer and an Instagrammer. Yeah, content creator. Her name is Cat the Life Junkie. And it is called Bubble Face. And it is absolutely delicious and delightful and uplifting. So if you get your nose on it or if you could purchase yourself a sample I tell you, you won't be disappointed. Pink Mahogany is actually a black-owned fragrance company. 
And I have tried a lot of her stuff before, but this right here, I think is full bottle worthy. So let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. You can DM me if you have any other questions, but please make sure you watch this video in full. If you have not, um, if you came in late, please, if you're watching the replay, I would appreciate it if you watch it in full. It's not very long. You can skip forward, but you don't want to miss it because we have a lot of fun over here. Again, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, follow, share, and make sure you like. All right. Thanks, guys, for hanging out with me tonight. I really appreciate you, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.